Will the recent trade war between China and the USA result in a global recession? Prof. Walter Kriegel from the Norwich University will put this into context this week and we have seen very low demand on the fresh produce markets. All in this week's video, so make sure to stay tuned. Welcome to this week's AMT Fresh Produce Outlook on the Markets. I'm Johnny and we'll keep you up to date with the latest trends in these markets. The past week we have seen that potato prices decreased by 8% to 34 and 36 per 10 kilogram bag, while tomato prices reached its lowest level in 2019 with a 24% decrease to 339 per kilogram. The, there is unfortunately not good news for the tomato prices at the moment uh, with even lower prices uh, expected for the coming week due to extremely low demand on the markets. The carrot prices increased by 1% to 2.64 while onion prices decreased by 2% to 3.70 per kilogram. Spinach and sweet potato prices all decreased with the latest sweet potato price on 3.32 per kilogram. When we look to the fruit industry, we have seen that high volumes in the banana industry resulted in the price to decrease by 8% to 5.33 per kilogram. We have expected this for the past uh, three weeks or so. Apple prices increased by 2% to 7.20, mostly due to lower volumes as well as slightly higher quality as well. Orange prices increased by 7% to 3.14 per kilogram. We have seen that slightly low volumes as well as still good demand for the orange or for oranges in South Africa will most likely result in the price to move sideways over the coming week. Our prices increased by 4% to 15.58 per kilogram. We have seen that the low demand doesn't really affect the other industry that much uh, with uh, the volumes that is most likely the price driver at this moment. We are expecting prices to move sideways or even slightly upwards. Grape prices remain on an extremely high level uh, while mango prices decreased by 44% the past week. But let's go and listen to what Provaldo Kriegel from the Norfolk University has to say regarding the trade war and what impact it will have on us in the South African agricultural industry. As promised, we are with Professor Waldo Kriegel from the Norfolk University, a senior economist um, and lecturer at the university, of course. Um, Professor, we've heard a lot about the trade war between China and America. Um, what type of effect does this have specifically when we look into the agricultural industry of South Africa and are we possibly heading into a recession in the coming future? Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, the trade war is in the news again uh, this week uh, in the, specifically the case of the wool industry. Uh, as some background, the, the US and China have been well, almost a, in a trade war uh, over the, the last few months and this means that they are levying tariffs, additional taxes on one another's products. Uh, this has not really reached the, the agricultural uh, produce side yet. The tariffs have been on manufactured goods and, and in this recent round specifically on clothing and footwear etc. Uh, but we see the impact of that. Uh, when, when there's talk of additional taxes that increases cost uh, and it limits the demand for their products and, and the result specifically in the case of wool has been that uh, Chinese buyers of wool have cut back and, and considering that they use two-thirds of all the wool produce in the world that has had a huge impact on the Australian market and the South African market and we can see more of this tension heading into to the, the world trade uh, where there's uncertainty about where this trade war is going and that of course delays investment, uh, it reduces trade further and now all of a sudden people are talking about a recession uh, that in a, a few months ago uh, wasn't mentioned uh, and if, if the world economy ends up growing even slower that will definitely spill over into other agricultural products as well. Okay. Thank you very much Professor, very uh, insightful information. Um, let's hope that uh, we won't head into a recession um, but I think expect lower trade prices uh, going into the near future. For this and more information, please don't hesitate to contact us.